If you want to become a successful civil engineer, subscribe to our channel. For instant updates, press the bell icon. Hello friends, today in this video we are going to discuss about the jobs for civil engineers, especially for the freshers. Okay, so after completing BTEC, so many students they will have doubts means in which field we can start our career, what are the jobs available for us in civil engineering. Okay, so for that questions we have prepared this video. Okay, hope this video will help you. So we'll start our discussion. Now for you first we have a job as a site engineer. Most of the civil engineering students after passing out from Bachelor of Technology or Bachelor of Engineering they will prefer jobs in site engineering field. Okay, so if you work as a site engineer, so what are the duties? So if you see on the left side here we have duties, you have to execute the project. This is the main duty of a site engineer. Okay, so for executing the project, you have to understand the drawing. Means you should be able to read the drawings with the coordination. Means you are like you have to take care of the architecture work, structural work. Suppose there will be other department also for, uh, like HVAC, water services, plumbing. You have to coordinate with them while executing the work. Okay, you have to monitor the site. Suppose if you are the in charge of site, then you have to uh, do the site inspections also. Suppose sometimes you have to prepare the bill of quantities also, and at last you have to prepare the daily, weekly, and monthly reports. Now, what are the requirements if you are a site engineer? So you should be able to read the drawing. You should know the sequence of work. Sequence of work means like from where, which point you will start your work. Like first we will total measure the plot area, then we will do soil building capacity, SBC, then we will excavate, then we will do the leveling thing, then we will have foundation, then PCC, that, that the sequence of work, how we have to follow the work, that sequence of work you have to know. Then the standards, standard means the grade of concrete, the density of cement, steel density, dias of uh, reinforcement then different shapes of reinforcements and some other standards like code books and all that you have to understand then the coordination part here is very important means you are the person you have to call you are the in charge of the site now you have to coordinate with other departments like there will be architecture department structural department MEP department so you have to coordinate with them sometimes we will face problems so you have to solve the issues okay so uh, and then lastly you have to know some estimation and some costing means you should be able to uh, calculate some of the quantities for materials and you should be able to prepare BOQs so friends these are the duties and these are the requirements for site engineer now second position is as a quantity surveyor so as a quantity surveyor your duties will be you have to estimate the quantities for materials then by using that materials maybe that material will be volume of concrete or shattering area or brickwork uh, number of bricks or cement mortar for brickwork so or plastering whatever it may be so now after estimating the materials you have to apply the costing but costing means preparation of bill of quantities will do after we uh, the specification means first we have to see the specification means suppose if you are calculating the volume of concrete now which grade of concrete you are following and uh, suppose which uh, type of sand you are using aggregate size of aggregate you have to see then which kind of cement which grade of cement you are using and which company cement bags you are ordering all that kind of specification you have to understand then only you can prepare the bill okay now you have to do the presentation for the contracts for the tenders you have to do steel calculations also now what are the requirements for estimation and costing means quantity survey you should know how to read the drawing sequence of work while preparing the manual calculations for the quantities or in the microsoft excel you have to know the sequence how you will perform the work like suppose where you will start your sheets you will start your sheet from footing then you will calculate footing PCC, then neck column, then tie beam, tie beam PCC, plane beam, plane beam PCC, grade slab. Like that you have to understand the work, then standards you have to understand. Means you should know the unit conversion, grade of concrete, grades of cement, steel calculation, form lays, bar bending schedule. These are some standards you have to know. Then steel density, concrete density, sand density, coarse aggregate density, 
all these things you have to understand then you should be able to calculate the volume of concrete shattering area and different materials whatever it required on the side you should estimate that one and you should be able to prepare the boqs for that okay so these are the duties and requirement for quantity surveyor now sub, third thing is third job for you is as a junior structural designer in this department we have to struggle means if we are btech then it's not easy for us to get the job in this field okay suppose uh, if you got job in this field then what are the duties you have to do the calculations you have to do the designing you have to do the analysis part you have to assign the codes uh, using the code books you have to assign the loads then you have to analyze the building and all that different kind of structures different kind of analysis will be there earthquake analysis so many things will be there you have to apply different kind of loads and you have to analyze okay now this is the major part for a engineer means like total building structure part is dependent upon this structural design part okay and the requirement is you should be able to do the manual calculations okay manual calculation means for the designing part means you should be able to calculate uh, for beam columns slab foundation everything now you should be able to know the designing sequence of work then standard code books which we use for designing means suppose you have to apply the dead load live load so from which code book we have to bring the loads from which page number from which the book number which part we have to follow that thing we have to see different countries follow different code books so we have to understand suppose if you are working here you have to follow is codes indian standard codes okay like that now in uh lastly you have to know the designing softwares also like uh, stat pro etap safe procon sap 2000 these are the some softwares which we use for structural designing okay so you should know that softwares also now your fourth job so fourth job you have here is like a drafting part this most of the civil engineers they don't prefer this job means they don't want to go in the drafting department suppose if you are interested in the drafting you can work as a draftsman or you can work as a coordinator means for the coordination department for the drawings okay so in that there will be different fields for civil engineer like you will work in the architecture department or structural department okay so if you are working in architecture department you have to prepare the architectural drawing if you are working in the structural department structural drawings you have to prepare the sections call outs elevations detailing okay drafting views you have to prepare the sheets you have to prepare sometimes shop drawings builder works drawing there are different kind of drawings okay now what are the requirement if you have to prepare the architectural drawing you should have architectural drawing knowledge means how a the architectural drawing will be same thing with the structure work and you have to understand the sequence of work means from which part will start our drawing from which drawing will Uh, there will be different drawings like for a ground floor plan will be there first floor plan will be there sections will be there elevations will be there and framing plans will be there column and footing layouts will be there so from out of all these drawings from this drawing we have to start this all this sequence of work then standard of drawings means for drawing which scale we have to follow for which part which color we have to use for and again hatching surface pattern these are all and materialistic properties these all things you have to understand okay now if you want to work in the drafting department you should know the softwares like autocad revit 3ds max sketchup okay and again there are a lot more softwares in this field okay so this is the fourth fourth field and lastly this is the uh, last field according to me as a education in the education field means you can work as a lecturer professor or as a faculty in the training uh, training institutions or in academy or you can work as a guide for phd scholars okay so for that requirement will be if suppose you are a btech so you can teach for diploma students suppose if you are a master mtech holder mtech degree holder then you can teach uh, the btech student suppose if you want more higher degree then you can go for phd okay so this field is good we can work in this field also but most of the civil engineers they don't prefer this field education department okay friends so these are the five fields according to me as a fresher you can start your career 
okay so first was the site engineering second was the quantity surveyor third was the junior structural engineer fourth one was the drafting department fifth one is the education department okay so now these are the fields if you want to work in in any of your interested field you can work but uh, if you have any st if you still have any doubts regarding which field you have to select you can contact us through comments definitely we'll go on or reply you as soon as possible if you like our video please do subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends thank you very much